All right, so this video is just going to be a quick one going over the group stage pick em that I did on my YouTube channel a few days ago, and then we're going to do the playoff pick em together. So for the group stage, I, I had G2 going 3-0. They lost 2-2-3 two to two and three in it. it. That was rough, but it actually ended up working out because I'm pretty sure if I would have picked like Gambit to go 3-0, or if, I mean if I would have picked SK to go 3-0, which was my other choice, since they didn't go 3-0, but they made it through, I still got points. But I'm fairly certain if you pick them to go 3-0 and they go 3-1 or 3-2, you don't get the points for them going through. So I'm actually pretty happy that I picked G2 because it still gave me the, the points for like SK Astralis. Uh, and then I picked Flips and go 3 They looked like they were they were going to do it. They were 0-2. And, and then they got FaZe at the 0-2 match. And I was so confident and I had that pick right after that. But then they beat FaZe. Hence why I didn't get points for them. Face went out 0-3. A shocker. Disappointing. But, you know, I, I didn't get the points for either of these. Last last time in E-League, I did end up getting the 0-3 correct. So, that's a, that's a rip. But, I going down to the other seven teams, I ended up getting Astralis and SK, right? Uh, they, those were everyone was sure they were going to go through. It looked scary at some points. I hate the Swiss system. By the way, I'm just going to go on a little tangent. The Swiss system is so bad. It's so random. It favors, like, these Tier 2 teams. And people are saying, oh, well, you need the Tier 2 teams to be able to have a chance. No, you don't. You want the best eight teams in the playoffs. I'm sorry. I'm just the triggered boy. But I hate the Swiss system. The group system was fine. They didn't come up with a new system to get back to groups. But Astralis and SK did survive. FaZe Clan, 0-3. G2, 2-3. And, and then Virtus Pro, Fnatic, and Gambit. Ver VP and Fnatic... I, I was kind of wary about them. I wasn't sure if they're going to do well because, like, VP, they haven't looked so good lately. They ended up making it through. They did fine. Uh, they, they ended up being Cloud9, my other pick, to go through. So in that game, I was I was pretty, you know, I was, I was content. I was, either way, I was going to get a point. I, w I was rooting for Cloud9, the the NA's last hope, but Versper ended up winning. I like Versper too, so I was okay with that. Fnatic ended up beating G2. Which I was very sad about because I'm a G2 fanboy. And I was very sad. G2, I swear, they got like the hardest schedule. People are saying Fnatic. G2 played so tough teams. In their first game, they played Na'Vi. Second game, they lost to Gambit, the team that won 3-0. Third game, they beat Cloud9, fifth best team in the world, according to HLTV. Uh, fourth game, they lost to Astralis, the reigning champion. Fifth game, they lose to Fnatic. Like, how it... We literally got the hardest schedule. Anyway, again, I'm just triggered. Uh, but Gambit, they ended up doing really well. Went 3 I got points for them. I was kind of worried about that pick, too. I was, was kind of like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if they're actually going to go through. But they ended up going 3-0. They looked well. But the question is, how will they do in the playoffs? So here's the playoffs. Eight teams make it through. Quarterfinals, semi... Finals champion you got to pick and every time you get a pick right you get more correct points. So currently I have 15 points and I'm 10 away from bronze if I get bronze. I'm happy I'm a happy boy as long as I get a trophy oh, Actually, let's check in the pick up leaderboard too. I got 15 points. Here's my friends uh, Global rank 2% That is insane the top 2% of players That I'm I'm so happy about that. That's Insanity. I did not think that I didn't even do that well. And it's top two percent just shows how crazy this Swiss system is when I can get like three or four games wrong and I'm still top two percent. Uh, as you can see, I'm 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 pretty mad at Swiss system. <laughs> uh, but let's go on to the playoffs. So Gambit versus Fnatic. Gambit did go three oh, they looked good. But Fnatic they they always do well in major. You know, they're like the flip side. People always say flip side, oh they always do well in major. Gambit always seems to do well, at least in the last two, I, I, I'll say. Uh, but last time, if you look at E-League, in the playoffs, you know, I had them going pretty far. And they ended up losing first round to Fnatic, the rematch. But this time, I do think Gambit is a better team. They were still kind of new back then. Zeus, a great IGL. I have to pick Gambit to go through in that one. And uh, so then here we go to the next game. Astralis SK, pretty much the finals right here in the first round. I'm fairly certain whoever wins this game is going to win the entire tournament. Uh, it's a pretty stacked up top, but Astralis, reigning champs, SK, world number one right now. 
it's a tough choice to pick. But I do think SK is a little stacked right now. You, you like you look back at their games, even in this tournament. It's like Phelps matching the record for the most kills in a major in a game that's not overtime with like 37. They only played like 26 rounds. Like he's insane. Obviously, Fur, Fallen, Cold Zero, Taco, they're all insane. I think that they're gonna take down Astralis. I don't think Astralis can best them this time. Or they didn't even play each other last major, but. Uh, I think it's, I think SK's got this one. They also already played each other on Inferno, and SK won. I want to say 10 to 6 or 16 to 6 or 16 to 8, something, something one-sided. So I got faith in them. And now this game really tore me up. Big and Immortals. Big obviously went 3-0, the big shocker. But they only played on Inferno in all three games, and I don't know how well they're gonna do on the other maps. Uh, like I'm really not sure. And, but Immortals, it's Immortals. They got lucky. They, I looked, who did they beat to get through? I know they beat Flipside was their last game. They beat Penta and some other average team. And I was like, Navi. They beat Navi. So I was like, they didn't really play anyone to get here. So it, it was, I was going back and forth on this one. But I decided, I think Immortals is going to take it. I, I'm, I haven't seen enough of Big's map pool yet. And I know Immortals can play a few different maps. I, I mean, I, I would really hope Immortals ban Inferno, because obviously Big's doing their work on Inferno. They put a lot of work into that, and they're looking really good on it. So I think if Immortals does the, the pick ban right, I think that they will go through. So I have Immortals for that pick, and then we have North and Virtus Pro. And I'm just going to say, North is my least favorite Counter-Strike team. I'm sorry. I just don't... I'm not a North fan, man. And I am a VP fan. And on top of that, the plow is looking good. They, they're they're, they're just looking strong. They're they're not looking as strong as last year, but they're still looking strong enough that I'm gonna take them over north. So now we have Gambit who went three zero and SK the world number one. Even though Gambit looked so good in the best of ones in the group stage, I don't think that they can be SK in a best of three. SK they have a big map pool. Like the only map they don't play is like Nuke. Uh, and that, I'm pretty... Do Gambit play Nuke? I think Gambit does play a little bit of Nuke, but... I mean, I just... I don't see SK losing to Gambit in a best of three. If it's a best of one, that's when it's kind of like, uh, Gambit, Gambit can like get a good map in there, and they can really do something. But in a best of three, I, I, I just can't see Gambit beating SK. So I have SK winning that. And now, it's obviously, the, the bottom half is just such a like a weak side compared to the top half. It's Immortals versus Virtus Pro. Both teams, if you ask me for the major, would say wh which team is going to the finals? Virtus Pro or Immortals? I would say <laughs> I would flabbergast it. I wouldn't know which which team to pick because they just both looked like not not good enough to even make it to the playoffs necessarily. But I think Virtus Pro they're going to turn it up in front of the home crowd. Immortals or even if it's Big who ends up winning this game, who's the favorite? I think Virtus Pro has got them under control. I think they got them on lockdown. I think the plow, it's coming. I, they, they, they're like talks of them splitting up. They've never done that before. They've kept this five-man roster. I don't think they want to split up. They want to impress the Polish crowd. I think they're going to turn it up. I think they're going to take down Immortals. And that that leaves us in the finals. SK versus Virtus Pro. And SK, they're just too good. They're just too good. They, there's not much to say about it. They're just insane. SK, they're such a good roster. Every player could be a star player if they really wanted to, unlike any other team. And they're they're they just play their position so well. It, I just can't see them losing a best of three to really anyone. I know I've said that that's like been my excuse for all of these games, but they just have such a good map pool with such good players who are playing at such a high level right now. Phelps is like the the tournament of his lifetime so far. The rest of them are performing well too. Fallen, Genius, ICL. I think they got this one. It'll be the third major. They'll join the list of uh, players who have won three majors. I think it's only a few Fnatic players right now that have won three. So I'm excited to, for these playoffs to begin on Friday. We're eight hours away from the time I'm recording this video. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to watch it. And let me know what you would have changed in my pick'em down below. We're always sleeping